Hi everybody, good uh, good night, uh, good evening. I'm continue doing uh, the room. Uh, this is a quick one. This is the forensic fundamental. I thought an easy one. Someone asked me a question, but one of the questions said maybe let me let me make a quick video on it. It's a straightforward room. Uh, it's subscribe if you're not subscribed. Maybe you can see watch the video and see what's the room about. This is just learn about digital forensic and related process and experiment with a practical example. As I said, this this part is more introduction. So what's good about it is it gives you an idea. Uh, if you are interested in digital forensics, so you can understand, for example, uh, uh, what it is. Maybe you're interested to be SOC or threat hunter or something like that because security is not just red team and hacking so this forensic this defense and all of that uh, like a digital forensic cyber crime analyzing for example if there is police uh, uh, digital map of the bank was found uh, this is an example for example document with the bank insurance uh, some media file that so uh, for example here uh, the bank map was discovered so when you start you connecting the dot checking the memory phase of digital forensic something which team uh, which team or uh, was handed the case by law enforcement of course when law enforcement come and related to some kind of digital or some theft in IT computer or something the team of course will be the digital forensic team it's a, 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 a digital forensics uh, the team that in charge of that of course the mythology is what exactly the first thing of course you collect data that's the first thing preserve collect data you get hard of the you have tools to use you start collecting data of course you examine the data the collect data may overwhelm investigate due to the size data you need to be filtered and all of that so you, need, you can have an idea then you start analyzing the data what you have you can use certain software you can guess you can start uh, depend upon the case scenario and available data then of course the, the important part the end of the, the reporting the conclusion and all of that of course all of this will come like for example that memory forensic that we do with volatile memory there is mobile there is some room try hack mirror guard in the mobile malware email cloud disk uh, now with ai so there's a lot of things happening uh, computer mo uh, forensic, the most common type of digital forensic. They have mobile, we have a network. You remember Wireshark or all the tools. Database forensic is also very important. Now the cloud with Google and House and all of that. And this one, most companies also they like this to trace emails and all of that. So, which phase uh, of digital forensic is concerned with correlating the collected data? to draw any conclusion so this is when you start analyzing the, the information uh, when you start analyze that's how you, you start making conclusion and all of that then which phase of digital forensic is concerned with extracting data of interest um, that as the name state is extracting so we, we ext uh, what's the question what's phase uh, of digital forensic concerned with extracting the data and trace from collected evidence uh, we collect we examine that's where we start uh, uh, extracting the data okay this is just straight introduction just let's pause a moment uh, try hack me as a different uh, some some model you can play with them like a different security you could say some uh, fundamental this room we are already in digital forensic we have incident response fundamental I hate how the box when they make our starting machines you have log fundamental uh, mute this and then we have a digital forensic and incident response it have some of Windows machines we have DFIR uh, the autopsy this is the tools they use uh, Linux forensic redline is also Kappa Volatility is always many uh, when you talk about uh, memory, uh, Velociraptor, this one too. They have project malware analysis, this uh, unattended. I remember this room, critical secret recipe. Then we have uh, introduction to defense security, we have into digital forensic, and then security operation. So, th this is a model you can 
do after if you, if you decide you want to go to uh, this type of, uh, of field and then we have um, even this accus uh, accusation of course you need the proper authorization you can just tap someone's phone or get the phone or get to com someone's computer and just take the data you get search warrant chain of custody always this key part lets me you need to trace uh, from what you time and collect the data to the lab all that uh, information, description, evidence, name of individual, date, time, all of this use right blocker, this one is for the hard drive so to make sure you don't uh, tamper with the data uh, right blocker are essential part of digital forensic team toolbox uh, you collecting evidence from suspect hard drive and attaching the hard drive to the forensic waste station why the collection occurs, some back Round task forensics uh, timestamp and all of that. That's why use this. Now this one, it's more later on when you start more experience to start doing this. For now, you just need to understand which tool is used to ensure data integrity. Uh, of course, is this uh, right blocker. Uh, the next question is which? What is the name of the document that has all the detail? Mm, evidence is that a chain of custody. Uh, chain of custody is the one, uh, and then we had uh, Windows Forensic is usually because it's well known for uh, companies to use desktop because Linux usually in the server side, Windows most of that. So it's so uh, in a disk image memory because it need to see in case there's volatile memory, some process or some uh, something like that. Uh, the well known for uh, taking image FTK image, uh, it's well known. Let's search for it. It's a free. You can you can download it uh, if you start making your own lab and things like that. So forensic image. So this is a this is a free version. This is a free version of them. You can use it. These try hack me rooms for it. Autopsy. Remember we talk about one room here. Where is it? This is the autopsy room. And then uh, autopsy is also known. And then you have this one. Volatility, you need to have two and three. Usually two, it has more feature than the, the latest version for whatever reason. So uh, this one, uh, the well known is volatility. And then you have various other tools, of course. Which type of forensic image is taken to collect volatile data? Volatile data, it means uh, it's uh, what they call that uh, the memory image. Uh, no, this not a disk. Volatile, you need to take memory image. Uh, what I want to say, yeah, so one of the things, for example, they give us practice, they, we have the, I download, we download the, the task, you have an image, uh, you have an image, you have a letter, there's a PDF, of course, here when you forensic, you don't look like that. You need to look behind what's behind of this. So uh, some tools here they give us. Uh, uh, I download it. I'm not doing the uh, attack box for you. You don't need it. So these are uh, the PDF info here. You can install it in your computer, and you have uh, the EXIF tool. Now, if you don't have, you can always uh, work online. For example, for the image, there's many sites. Like for example, you can Google them. So if you, if you upload the image, you can play. Of course, whenever you start, you can start always with the metadata. The metadata give you the information. Uh, same here, I can get the metadata of there, or I can come to my computer. Uh, we start in the, we start in with the the PDF. Let's start with the PDF. PDF. I have the PDF, a uh, couple of PDF for me and then my computer, PDF info and I can just say ransom letter dot PDF it gives you directly the author is for this for example uh, there is website online for the PDF too you can just for example PDF crowd uh, it also gives you the, um, uh, the name so in case you don't have uh, tools in your commute but it's better to install them so uh, we can see we have there so this is just one of the PDF then for photo for images always the, the famous one is exif tool uh, what is the image uh, letter 
Exif to give you more, uh, give you if uh, it's some CTF also to give you. Oh, this is a lot of no. This is uh, Adobe. Where is my clear? Why are these images giving me too much information? Let the image give you this. Uh, that they tell you also the camera is Canon uh, horizontal. Uh, what information we can get? Adjustment. Uh, this is not convert from image X Canon blue green whatever so this more information so if I follow another question what's the question is try to find uh, where did the Kitampa took the image that attached the oh, the street let's go to the last one first what is the modern name of the camera used we know it's a uh, Canon let me uh, for not search for it grab minus a Canon the modern name uh, it's Canon uh, this one Canon E0 do you have a full name yeah let's put a full name of course you can get it from here because uh, the model where is the model model name is this one or oh, that side too you should have it the model is there so you can use online or something uh, what else? No, the, this one, because someone asked me for this question, that's why I did the room, get confused in this part. Uh, remember when you do the EXIF tool image, it gives you this long number, the same. Uh, but Google, if you take this now to Google like that, uh, where is that? Uh, because you can use Bing map or Google map let's see if we, both of them will not have, I think both of them will not find it like that if you tell this one like that uh, they couldn't find it that's why he said to you in the room you need to remove the degree and replace it with the uh, that's how Google the map uh, I will understand it these uh, things so basically you can see uh, where is that thing it's 51 30 so you remember degree with that and then uh, and remove the spaces for for both of them to understand it so I can just say if I go to Uh, why 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 Google didn't find it no no that Google you find it and you can see the name is milk Street and then uh, if you look to Bing don't tell me Bing couldn't find it Eight Russia row EC eight B England United Kingdom. Oh Milk Street, yeah. So both of them they say Milk Street. So the the the, the street is Milk Street. <coughs> And that's the remote thing you do is if you want to go more in forensic <coughs> learn stuff. Uh, what's this one? And then is the the, f the hack the box Sherlock. This is the, for example, the one that's still not released. If you want so to go deep and for you can start with the easy one, uh, retired, active, whatever you do. There's some free ones. This not easy. Uh, uh, just you can, there's some work through for the old ones. You can do them. And uh, so this is one if you want to go deep and forensic. <laughs> If you want to cheat it like poster something, you can come to Sun. This is the link posters. 
you can search for example digital forensic and instant response threat hunting whatever you're looking for for example I open one for volatility for memory dump sun memory forensic sheet sheet 3 uh, this is good to have them if you're interested when you need the uh, uh, for example this one is for uh, as for IT3 memorization, wind pump, for example, uh, tell you which file you're looking for. So if you can collect this poster are free, so you can collect which one you're looking for. Uh, I think that's what I want to talk. You have this the the room from Trihack Me. You have the Sherlock. Uh, yeah, the. Thank you guys very much, and hope to help someone. And have a good day.